Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're playing a sports game called Run For Gold, published by Hill McGibbon in 1985. Also come out in the Commodore 64 and the Android CPC. Now this isn't a button masher or joystick wiggler. We must train two athletes. It's all about, um, you know, pacing uh, this one. But basically we must qualify for the Olympics. It's a bit of a grind this one. Oh, Run For Gold level one or level two. Let's go for level one because that'll be easier. You must train your two athletes over different events to finally qualify for the Olympics. So you start off in Crystal Palace, which is like a local meet. Then there'll be the European Championships, World Championships, or think of the name of a runner. Um, I can't think of one. Um, the World Championships then culminating in the Olympics. So essentially you have to keep winning races, or at least coming in the top three, to improve your ranking to qualify for better events. Come on, why can't I put my name in? I just want Z something. Anyway, leave that with me. There are three events, so it isn't isn't a lot here. All on the athletics track. There's the uh, I think the 400 meters, the 800 meters, and the 1500 meters. So Z Buff is the uh, first one. Choose an event. So only three events. It's a bit limited there. But the interesting thing about this game, which I've seen from the screenshots, is it's a very different angle. You see a red bar there and a blue bar. The red bar is our speed, and the blue bar is the amount of strength we got left. Look at this. Looks great, doesn't it? Uh, I think there's left and right. This is my first go on the thing. Let's try and get a hang of it. Right, so I'm coming around the bend here against these guys. Uh, your blue strength goes down all the time. You see the distance almost on the bottom right gradually going down. We've got to conserve our strength to the end. So it's all about pacing here as I run along in my very tight white shorts and very loose fitting vest. Right, okay, so this game looks amazing straight away. We'll see what the playability is like, but I'm already going too fast. My strength is getting quite low, but uh, you know, I'm getting near the finishing line now. Am I gonna do it? Strength speed's going down a bit. Did I win? Did I win that race? 45.18, it's not bad. Let's check out Zed Booth, second place. Well, not bad for a first race. We needed to go a bit quicker uh, there. There's 40 uh, AI opponents in this game. We must gradually get better than them to get better. So I don't know how many races you need to do to get to the Olympics, but my guessing is loads. You can save it at any point. Okay, so here's Len, our middle distance super runner versus Vispay and all those other ones, right? On your marks. Oh, full start, you don't wanna do that. If you full start twice, you're out. If you run out of lane, I think sometimes you're out also. Let's try not to do that. Now, I think we need to break in. We're in lane one, which is quite useful. Oops, there we go. So I drifted off the track. You do lose speed for switching lanes in the main race once you get round there. And Len's been disqualified, which isn't good for his future career to become an Olympic champion. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. 1985, also come out in the Commodore 64 and the Antred CPC. I mean, it's interesting. There's not a great deal to it, but it's really well coded. I can't think of any. Oops! I can't think of any games uh, that have got this sort of like chase view, and it's all on 48k. So it's impressive stuff. I would have loved this back in the day, despite there not being much going on. I would have done all the grinding, played it forever, trying to qualify for the Olympics. So this meet is in Crystal Palace. I don't know if the stadiums change as you go further in it. If you know, let me know. So the Crystal Palace, the European Championship, the World Championship, then Olympics. I think everyone you run against is always this like white colour, but the animation is great, it doesn't slow down at all. So this is two laps of the track, I think we might have to break in, there we go, so we need to cut in now. So we're behind this fella, we're behind the pack, this is, oh no, I ran off the track, curses, I've run well into the track. Yeah, this game's quite good actually. I, I prefer the middle distance racing, the 800 and 1500 to the 400, because that's more of a race. Keep an eye on that red bar. Now, I'm controlling it with the key, so I think O makes the uh, speed go faster, N is slower. But it's all about that cyan bar, timing that so there's none left at the end, so you've got the maximum time. Go! Don't run out of lane, Nick. Everyone's got the same haircut, unless we're all wearing swimming caps. Hooray! It does, it has got a feel of an athletics track to it. Um, I like running this bend, and I like it goes to the straight after this point. There we go, bang on the straight. That guy's cutting in, I'm cutting in. Let's cut in, people, don't run off the track. Oh no, steer, 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 steer. Oh goodness, what a nincompoop. Disqualified after 150 meters. Len's not doing very well. He's getting a reputation as being the idiot of athletics, or always runs out of his lane. 
Qualifying race from Crystal Palace. I'm determined to finish at least one of these. Jay Cheddar, he seems like a cheesy runner. Uh, Tritz Visby and P said. What did P say? I don't know. On your marks. Get said. Go. Go, go, go. So it's interesting it's not a button masher. If it had been a button masher of this angle, I think it would be a bit of a problem. It's more of a thinking person's race game. And I like it for that. It's like a management game, trying to get your two athletes through. Um, it would have been good if there's some other events, but I think it would have been pushing the spectrum a bit. So here we go then. Uh, all right, I I'm trying to stay in lane one. Stop them from all um, um, cutting in. It's getting a bit slower now with lots of athletes on the track. There's a guy ahead of us. Right, so it's all about the pacing. Hopefully that guy's gone off too quick. Now I have read, once you get good at this game, you can assign a pacemaker uh, ahead of you once you become a decent athlete to try and break the world record, because that's what it's all about, really. Uh, maybe I need to up my speed here to prevent these guys from cutting off. A few of these guys are running the whole race in lane two. That's nincompoopery. As long as I got lane one, that's the best place to be. Let's burn those off. We've got 400 metres left. One guy in the lead, quite a bit in the lead. I hope he gets puffed. If you run out of energy, of course, you're going to go really, really slow. And everyone's going to pass you in the finishing straight. Run it. Go, go, go. Run, Forest, run. You can, uh, by typing, I think, E, I think, you can bring up your position, but I pretty much know my position at the moment. I think I'm in second place with a guy on my right-hand side. Um, the leader's coming back to us. He's looking a bit puffed. Don't run out of the lanes, So I might have to try and run round him, which costs you a little bit of speed. Oh, so I bumped into it. I bumped into him. That's why the flashing stuff. Whoa. Come on, run. Let's win the race. Up the speed. Got a lot of energy left. Don't run out. I'm wiggling around like a Ninkum Wally. A Ninkum Wally. That's it. Enter for, did I win that race? I'm sure I did. 146. That's not bad, is it? 146.38. 1 by 3 tenths of a second. So all how then and his amazing athletics career. I'd recommend tracking this one down. I downloaded it from Spectrum Computing. Yeah, so, um, you know, 400 meters, 800 meters. I think we should do um, at least one, or oh, I pressed the wrong button. I think we should do at least one 1500 meters before we go. But come on, Zed Booth. There's Fiona Bruce, the newsreader, in second there. I don't know why she's racing. Right, one lap of the track, you've got to stay in lane. I've been drawn lane one, which makes it easier. It is random what lane you get. But lane one is the place to be. Other, other ones are tricky because I can keep an eye on everyone then on, on the outside. If you're on lane eight, um, you can't see them as clearly. So let's just hang on to this guy, use him as a marker, and then overtake everyone in the finishing straight. That's what I'm going to do. Cyan strength knocking too bad. 200 meters ago, we're halfway around the track. The guy's gradually going to get more and more strength and more and more speedy. Pity we can't buy him some replacement shoes. Right, power it. Have I left it too late? Oh, come on, I've got to get this bloke. Have I got him? Dip, you wally. I think I might have been second place there. I've still got a bit of cyan left. Yeah, second place. Fiona Bruce, the newsreader, uh, won. Oh, no. A hey, Chris, last place. So I'm gradually, I'm gradually training my guys up. So as you can tell, this isn't a quick game. It's going to take a lot of races, and that's why you can save your performance to uh, disc. Come on, Len, versus S. Conch, Donato. 1500 meters, this is the last race, wish me luck. I think that's about, is it three and three quarters of the track? Get set, go. 1500 meters, folks. I think the world records are like 329 something. I think so, unless it's 328. It's around about that sort of area. So a slower pace here, because it's 1500 meters. Try and conserve your energy. Run in the pack there. Everyone's got together and looking like a big ghost or a big dollop of ice cream on my right. That's 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 teamwork. That's group running. Yeah, that doesn't look very good, does it? Anyway, they should all try and run around each other. But we're spacing out now as the race goes on. T-shirt looks a bit baggy, but shorts look extremely tight. Hmm, could be a, could be a problem. It's a lot of bottom wiggling going on. Uh, whoever's responsible for the bottom wiggling animation, well done you. Try and keep your eye off that. But that's all my eye can focus on now. Go go go. Running. I ain't got any uh, uh, race numbers on. But 1,200 meters to go, that's three laps. I'm maintaining my pace, I'm maintaining my energy, I'm still at the front of the pack. It's all about your finishing burst at the end, try and maintain that. I don't think I could do a marathon like this, or a 5,000 meters, but base around this is pretty nifty. Pretty nifty, Lifty. Go, 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 put your favorite sports game below. Mine's still Daily Thompson Decathlon, but I like that this one didn't try and copy it and went in its own direction. So well done to Hill McGibbon. Uh, it's impressive stuff. I can't think of any games quite like this one. So well done you. 
boom keep on running as the song went keep on running bom 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 keep on running won't find D I'm gonna be the one to make you understand here yeah, oh yeah I'm gonna be your man etc 900 meters left 850 so there's two laps of the track we're still pretty much in the lead here I, I've made a bid for freedom let's go freedom I won't let you down you gotta give back what you say hey hey so it's, it's quite a long event 1500 meters isn't it when the game is a little bit uh, like this so just to recap then 400 meters 800 meters and 1500 meters that's all the events you've got keep racing and racing and racing on your local meets and this one is Crystal Palace uh, to try and improve and then get really good uh, and qualify through the ranks, European Championships, World Championships and Olympics, uh, and then be uh, a big show off. So that's what it's all about. Take your unknown athlete into superstardom. One lap to go, strength looks brilliant. We're gonna survive this, I think. We're gonna survive without any issues. Boom, boom, boom. 350 meters, count it down. Count it down, clowns. Good. Right, I'm running on the red tartan. In indoor tracks are blue. Uh, outdoor ones seem to be uh, red. Don't know why that is. I think I've got this one easily, haven't I? I think 1500 meters is my event, you know. That's the one I used to do at school. I think I used to run, what did I used to run it in? I can't remember. 420 something, I think. Or 418, I think I did. The best I did, I used to at 14. Wiggle it just a little bit. Boo, 334. So what was that? I said the world record was about 329. It's about five seconds out. I, I won that by quite a distance. Well done, Len. You're the 1500 meters super dynamo. So I think we've seen enough of that game. I really liked it. I mean, it's, some people might think it's bland because I'm into athletics. I, I really liked it. I like the style of it. and I like the nature that you've got to keep training your athlete. Would have kept me going for si quite some time. So hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Run for Gold on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Hill McGibbon in 1985. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro then please put that below you're always more than welcome until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye